Where, where, are, where are you? We're on the train. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it's so it's awful. It smells terrible. It smells like you can smell like burning. How old do you feel? Five or six. Mm -hmm. Are you a girl or a boy? I'm a girl. Mm -hmm. You feel that you have a parent nearby? Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of wedged between my mom and my dad. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you're on this train. Tell me what's happening. Are they sitting, standing? No, we're standing and you can't sit. Mm -hmm. And I'm tired. Yeah. It's cold. It is cold. Anybody else that you know there with your parents? Yeah, my brother. Okay. And I know you're just a child, but do you know or feel the direction of where you're going? Why are you on the train? Because we're going to one of the camps. I want to hit the pause button here and I want to rewind to before this all happened to better days. I'd like to explore your family and how you lived when things were good. I want to move to where you lived with your mom and your dad and your brother. So let's go back to a happy scene, a happy day. Just be there now. Where are you? What is happening? We're in an apartment. Mm -hmm. It's not very big. But I'm playing. you playing with? They're just like little balls, like a bunch of little balls and sticks. Like you, we just kind of, it's like a game where you roll the ball around with the stick. You're playing with your brother? No, he's in the other room. Okay. <clears throat> What else? What does your space look like? Who's there with you? You can see my mom in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. And she has dark hair. Yes. Like this yellow kind of cream colored dress on that has like little flowers all over it. How do you feel about your mom? Of her, she's kind of cold sometimes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. Let's move to a day that you and your mom and dad and your brother are sitting down for a meal. You're sitting down, sharing a meal together. Just be there now. What does that look like? He gets mad at my dad a lot. He does. Mm -hmm. um, she says that I, uh, or he spoils me. Your daddy's girl? Mm hmm. <laughs> mm hmm. I see. So 
describe your dad to me? He's a big guy. He's tall. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. He's darker hair and blue eyes, like bright, bright blue eyes. My brother looks like him. My hair is blonde. Everybody else's is dark. Okay. Are you happy? Yes, I'm much happier when I'm with my dad, though. Yes. Let's connect with your dad. Get nice and close to his energy. Do you recognize him mm-hmm. as someone? You do. Mm-hmm. Okay. And your mom? Let's connect with her energy. Do you recognize her? No. Okay. All right, let's go ahead now and leave that scene and let's go back to the train. I know it's uncomfortable, but let's go right back to that scene where you are all together in this train heading to the camps. Tell me what that looks like when you arrive. Give me all the details of what you see, feel, and hear. It's loud. People are, it's very chaotic and you can hear the officers yelling at you, but we don't understand what they're saying. There, you can see two buildings and there's a big opening and a fence that we we line up at, and they're, as soon as we come off, they're just sorting us. Sorting you in what order? Men on one side and women on the other. Okay. My mom tries to hide my brother. Yes. What happens? Some of the officers ignore it, but then one, he walks up and just like grabs him and shoots him immediately. Hmm. What do you do? I just hide them. Bury my face in my mom's leg. And I look for my dad. And he's looking back at me. But his line is moving faster than ours. How old was your brother? Ten. What happens next? Or just eventually my dad, I can't see him anymore. And our lunch is kind of stagnant. We don't move very quickly. It's cold. I can feel the wind. My mom is I can shock. The building my dad goes into. There's chimneys. Chimney. Mm -hmm. What does the building look like from your perspective? It's kind of long. Mm -hmm. There's like a tunnel thing. 
I think everybody kind of goes into I noticed the chimneys because there's not chim there's not smoke coming out of the chimneys in the building that we're going into. There is smoke in the other building where the men are going. Yeah. Okay. There's not there's not smoke on our side. Okay. All right. What happens next? We go in the building. And they, they make us change our clothes and shave our heads. And they tattoo my arm. What are you doing when that happens? I'm crying, but my mom told me that not to cry. So I'm trying really hard not to cry. You see your arm and what they put on there for you. Yeah. What does it say? A. A01. Four, three. We have to, we go to the, they march us across this long fenced in field. There's other people in there, there's men and women that are, they're like working, but they're doing stuff that's not really working. It's like they have some people that just like, Hammering rocks. It just kind of seems like nonsense. Just to just to be cruel. And I don't have shoes. They didn't give me shoes. It's cold. What are you wearing on your body? Mm-hmm. They gave me pants, but they're too big, and I have to hold them. You do? Yeah. And the shirt that's long, it almost touches the ground. We go in where the bunks are, and there's... Already so many people in there. Are you allowed to be with your mother? Yeah. She uh, she held me close by. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There's this old woman in there and she's like she's like the grandmother. She's the oldest one in there. She's like she she kind of Tells everybody what to do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Helps take care of everyone. He does. Mm-hmm. She cries because I'm so young. She tells me to call her Bubby. He does. Bubby. Mm hmm. Let's connect with her. Connect with her energy. Is this someone you recognize in your life today? Yeah. And she's my grandmother. Would 
They make um, they make the young ones just run for their own amusement, really. It's like sometimes the kids or the young, younger people will just have to run around this field all day long. If you get tired, they beat us. What happened to you? Yeah, my arm hurts because I I got tired and I fell, and so they they beat us. My mom, she saw it, but she couldn't. She couldn't do anything, and one of the one of the other girls that was running. She's much older than me, but she she scooped me up. I think my arm is broken. None of us have shoes. Her feet bleed. We're so dirty. Not allowed to bathe. No. Mm-hmm. Tell me how they feed you. Do they feed you? What do they give you? Oh, sometimes they just they give us scraps and they it's never enough for everyone. Never enough for all of us. The older people they give they give most of their food to the little ones. My mom gives all of her food to Bubby because she's sick. She's she's too old. It's there's mice. What else? No, we don't have blankets. It's cold. It's just cold all the time. You try to stay warm. What do you we do? Just, there's so many of us that they they kind of wedge all the the young people in the middle. The older people just they're usually on the the outside unless you're really frail, really old, then everybody puts you in the middle. Go ahead and leave that scene and let's move ahead. Moving ahead to an important day where something important is happening. Let's move there now. Just be there. What is happening? My mom. She's in the middle of the field. They caught her giving um, her food to somebody else. And made her go to the middle of the field and take her clothes off. She's been standing there all day.
else happen? Well, the officer shoots her. Did you see it when it happened? Yeah, I was hiding by the stairs. You sense that you're a little older when this happens. Seven. Mm-hmm. You ever hear any news about your father? No. No one knows knows him. Go ahead and leave that scene and we're going to move ahead to another important day. Something very important is happening. Just be there. What changes for you? Your mother is gone now. I'm taken care of by all the women. That's like a like a family. I'm a family, yes. Mm-hmm. But how old do you feel here? Eight or nine. How do you take care of them? We just try to keep each other's spirits up. There's someone there that you connect with. Mm-hmm. She's my friend. Mm-hmm. Is she young as well? She's older than me. Mm-hmm. How is your health? Oh, my arm is kind of deformed now. My right arm. Your right arm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I broke it and it didn't heal. Uh, I can see my bones. Okay. Mm. My hair is falling out. I don't really have any hair. No. You mentioned that you try to bring some sort of joy in this situation. Mm -hmm. What does that look like? We sing songs. You do. How many we have to whisper? Mm -hmm. Okay. Bubby's still there with you? No. She's gone now? Yeah, she... She didn't make it. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and leave that scene. Let's move ahead. Moving ahead in time to another important day. Just be there. Tell me what's happening. It's a really, it feels different. The day is just different. Why? It's, there's no, there's not really any soldiers around. They're not, they're not in the, in the field. They're not in the, they not didn't watching come, you? No, they didn't come get us today. Hmm. Sure, that's confusing, yes? Yeah, everyone's really nervous. Mm-hmm. Okay. 
happens next, the next thing that happens. I go outside and there's, I can hear yelling in the distance, but it's, they're not coming over to where we are. We all kind of go over to the fence because we we hear more stuff in the in the distance. What are you hearing? What are the others saying? I can't. I don't. I don't understand. Everybody's just confused. Move ahead to what happens next. Moving ahead. What changes? Soldiers come. They were scared of them. There's a young, one of the soldiers is young. And he comes up to me and he gives me a blanket or a coat or these soldiers look different. Yeah, they're they're, they're not German. Mm-hmm. I don't understand what he's saying. Okay. Gives you a blanket. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not how old are you feeling when this happens? Oh, I'm about nine. Okay. Very good. I'm sure you're confused. What else happens? We stay there for a day or two. They get us food somehow. It's not very good, but it's more food than what we've had. There's more, more soldiers. They let us in some of the buildings to sleep so we're warm. What does your room look like that you sleep in? Or just in like a, a cafeteria. Okay. And we sleep on the floor, but it's it's warm. The warmest you've been, yes? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Are you with your friend? Yeah. Mm-hmm. What does she look like? She has dark hair. Mm-hmm. Her eyes are brown. Let's connect with her energy friend that has been your family, your companion. You connect with her today. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She's my little brother. Okay. 
Interesting. Mm -hmm. What happens next? You're warmer, you're fed, they move you. They start moving us, getting us out of there. Yes. So what's your understanding? I know you're still young. What is your understanding of what is happening? What are they telling you? My friend tells me that the the war is over. Mm-hmm. Start moving you out of there. Where do you go? We go, uh, they put us on a train. They ask us where we were from. What do you say? What do you hear yourself say? Poland. Okay. Mm-hmm. Go back there. You do go back to Poland? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. My friend mm-hmm. comes with me. Yes. And where do they take the children? Where do you go? You just kind of go back to your your town. You're just kind of expected to Find your family. That's why she stayed with me. To protect me. Does she find family and you go with her? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I stay with her. All right. Let's move further into your lifetime as an adult, moving ahead. How does your life turn out? I don't don't ever marry. You don't? No. I just stay by myself. You do to take care of yourself. What does Mm -hmm. it look like? I'm content. I'm content to be alone. A job something to earn money so you can eat. I'm a teacher. You are a teacher. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You do have many children. Mm -hmm. Yes. What do you like about that? They're innocent. Mm -hmm. Or it was something that I didn't get to be. Move ahead to the last day of your life. Moving ahead to the last day of your life in this lifetime that we have been exploring. Just be there. 
Tell me where you are. I'm in the hospital. Mm-hmm. Are you, I'm are you I'm, old? Yeah, I'm not, not terribly old. Middle-aged, I guess. Why are you there? What, what in your body is hurting you? What's wrong? My whole body hurts. Mm-hmm. Is anybody cancer. there with you? I have cancer. You do? No, mm-hmm. no, nobody's there with me. Do you have any awareness of your emotions at this time in the hospital? Anything at all that comes to you about your life? I'm just at peace. Mm-hmm. I want to I wanna be with my parents. Okay. Yeah. Let's go ahead and just take your last breath. 